In January, I ring in my birthday and Aquarius season by spending two weeks in Thailand. This is Bangkok. We started out in Denver, then did the first layover in Canada, and look at what the Vancouver airport is giving. Nature with sound effects. Spent a work day's worth of a layover there, then flew to Hong Kong, where I did an outfit change, wiped down, freshened up, since a full day had passed by the time I got there. Waited seven hours, then flew Thai Airways into Bangkok. was real chill because we needed to recover from all the travel. We visited Arrowhead Museum, which is a religious cultural museum that talks about the universe from the perspective of different religions, including Buddhism and Christianity. It's also a temple, so people come there to pray and worship. The most eye-catching part of this museum is the three-headed elephant outside. That's Erewhon. There's a nice walking space and garden outside. This was a very low pressure activity, no alarm needed. Later that night, we visited Jaws Night Market. The food was nice, just nice. Bought a few souvenirs here, and I have zero footage of this, but we use public transportation to get to most places. We used the BTS SkyTrain, the MRT, and we used Grab, Uber's cousin. Day two, we dove deep into Bangkok history and Thai history as a whole with our guide on. We spent the whole day visiting temples. We went to the Grand Palace and the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, Wat Paul. We went inside a lot of temples. We also saw the Reclining Buddha. It also comes with a nice canal tour, which served as a nice break in the middle of all the temple touring. We booked this on tour with Tong, which I found out about through someone else's TikTok like a year before this trip. So I'm passing it forward. If you love history, Look up tour with Tong if you're going to Thailand. On day three, we were up before the sun. This was a mixed bag. We booked this tour mainly to go to the Erewhon waterfalls and do elephant activities, but it was far. It's in Kanchanaburi. We stopped by the Death Railway first, which was built during World War II by POWs and forced laborers, and it's a reminder of a painful time in Thai history. We eventually made it to the waterfall. It is seven levels. Yes, seven levels of waterfall. It was so beautiful. We saw two levels. Your girl's not confident in her swimming yet, so I just took cute pics, but Rebecca was living her best life. We only got to spend, what, an hour and a half there? A lot of driving for an hour and a half at the waterfall. Definitely go to the waterfalls, but I think perhaps find another way to do it, especially if you wanna spend more time. After this, we visited another section of the Death Railway and stopped to go inside a cave, which was cool, but by this time we were really tired. When we got to the Elephant Haven, we prepared their food, fed some of them, then bathed another one. It was cool to be around elephants. Now, I think this tour popped up when I searched for ethical places to visit elephants, but two things about it gave me pause. There was another tourist who just scrubbed the elephant we ended up scrubbing. I would bet money on this. And I just wondered how many times that elephant gets scrubbed per day, like depending on how many tourists visit. And one of the staff pulled on the elephant's ear to make it sit, and it was just worthy of a side eye. Um, I say, if you want to spend more time at the falls, find another tour, um, or go straight to the falls yourself. And if you want a more comfortable time with elephants, find another tour, because I don't enthusiastically recommend this one. It gave racism. Safari World was a complete dud. This was another chill day where we slept in. Here we are on a ride I thought would be great, but was racist as hell. I can't even tell you what the theme was because it was all over the place. There were black people, Africans, in traditional clothing, living in huts and with animals. So we thought maybe we were an ancient civilization on the African continent. Then there were fully dressed white people. I and I think we were in South America at one point. There were two random white men who got caught in traps. I didn't see any Asian mannequins. We really didn't know what the story was. At one point, we were in a mine situation. The most fun aspect of this ride was ju judging it for being trash. Um, the struggle highlight of Safari World was me feeding giraffes for the first time. We also attended a sea lion show that we were both too old for. If you like zoos, then you just must go for it. Otherwise, skip it. The Thai milk tea was good, and that's about all I have to say about it. On the big date, the hotel gave me a card in tiramisu, which we never got to eat. 
Then we got our first Thai massage of the trip. It was so divine I didn't record a video or take a pic, but we felt like new people when we left. Um, we had reservations at Siri Mahanap. I am sounding it out. Siri Mahanap, which is a replica of a retired Royal Thai Navy ship. It's on the water at Asiatique, the waterfront, and the vibes were immaculate. There was a nice breeze. The staff were attentive and friendly. One waitress, waitress gave me a whole photo shoot. It was a fabulous dinner made better when the couple across from us paid the bill as a present to me strangers being kind to you is one thing strangers being kind on your birthday is top tier so like i said this is on the waterfront there are cute shops and there was a scary ride in january but we went with it and it did scare the crap out of me i mean full on screens but i won't say why find out for yourself if it's still there um there's also a ferris wheel i can't remember the last time i rode one so of course riding this one was a must and we got a beautiful view of the cityscape i always take time to be in the moment and focus on what's happening what i feel on my birthday and this was a great day and i basked in the greatness of it um i have a new travel blog it's linked in my bio and you can read in-depth reviews of this itinerary along with costs as well as get my full experience of bangkok after this we went back to the hotel and packed because i said this is two weeks and we're going to Phuket next. So I'll see you over on that video. Bye.